hot as a motherfucker in here. Bro, no, it's not. It's hot. It's not hot in here. It's <clears> hot. <throat> I was just working in a hundred and something. It's not hot. Oh, it's hot. Not in here. <laughs> it feels good in here. Super hot. You don't leave the house. You're like regulated at 67. I'm regulated yeah. right now at 71, yeah. My, my house is only 72. No, it's not 72 in here, bro. 100%. Your thermostat. When you put up. these lights on, it's going to get hotter. Why is my mic? Yeah, I think I'm good. Maybe I should move my chair. I don't know. Check skis. Check. Yeah. <sighs> Do we have any positive topics? We should have at least one. I did. Yeah. I mean, I got one. None of you guys can relate to it, like, at all. I got one, but, you know, that's, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Do you have anything positive that you'd like to share? Absolutely Jim? fucking not. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Let's just get this bitch out of the road. It's going to yeah. be a fucking life. All right, come on. We got to get out of here. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. How come every single time we start, you immediately start with, I got to get out of here? I like saying that. <laughs> I'm busy. He's like fucking Cyrus from the trailer park, boys. I'm He's busy like, fuck person. off. I got work to do. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Work, family life, podcast. This is Mike Loud, episode number 33. I am Jeremy Chorus. I am here with Edgar and Boom. Hi. How's everybody doing How today? was your week? It's not good, man. It's not good. Man, I'm pissed. Edgar's pissed. I'm always pissed. I am fucking tired. Tired of what? What are you tired of? <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're getting into it. I'm fucking tired of every single fucking time that any single person of color is killed by a police officer. We automatically have to... Denounce that cop as a bad apple. This is a fucking job and career that we should not be allowed to have bad apples, period. I that agree should with not you. be a fucking thing. You can't be a fucking airline pilot, like Chris Rock says, you can't be an airline pilot and say, well, most of our pilots land. Right. That's not how that works. I'm sick and tired of every single fucking time that a police officer commits an act like this, he gets fired and doesn't go to fucking jail. Or get the death penalty. I'm sick and tired of every single fucking time I see something like this. I have to worry about friends and family that I have. Yeah, me too. I I'm have friends sick and the tired force. of that all around. And I'm just, overall, I'm just sick and tired of people in way bigger positions of power or way bigger positions of influence who actually have a fucking voice that matters not opening their mouths because they don't want to fuck with their money or their brand. They need to start uh, talking and, and break the fucking code because it's costing lives and, and it's, it's getting the, the public really angry. And, you know, we, we were kind of away with the racist shit for a very fucking long time. I mean, all of a sudden it's back and we got politicians that don't have our fucking backs. Right now, the way I feel, I ain't voting because the last time when I voted, I had to pick the wor the best of the two evils. Now I got to pick... The less of the racist, I'm out. Ain't happening. Ain't doing it. And I think my community's gonna do the same. We're not gonna show up to the fucking polls. Pol the police, we have an issue. We've known that for a long time. Um, I'm. I got real, real tired of hearing that it was, and I'm still, I still hear it, that it's Obama's fault that he divided us saying that the race, race versus race, and Obama's the one that, that basically set precedent to having the discussion of race versus race. I think... Only a racist would look at his words that way. Yep. I'm going to completely agree. I think that he wanted to open dialogue about the existing racism that we have. 
um, the existing problems that we have in our police force as a country. Um, we're still dealing with that. I watched that video. I watched the whole thing. And I wanted to fucking throw up. The guy looked like he was complying from the video that I saw. I'm sure he wasn't complying before that. That's what an arrest is for. Yeah. But it- You arrest somebody. Who isn't complying? That is not a death sentence. Agreed. He knelt on the back of that guy's head and neck for nine minutes. And people watching, recording it. For nine, get that? I I swear to God, I will sit here for nine minutes and not say a fucking word to demonstrate how long that is. And I guarantee you, Nobody watches that whole nine minutes of silence. I got ADHD, y'all, man. Don't do that. Y'all will sit there and you will skip forward nine minutes if I'm to, if I were to do that right now. Why? Why? So nine minutes is a long fucking time. I mean, we can't even watch five minute videos. <laughs> nine minutes, bro. I, he, when the guy was cuffed, he definitely didn't deserve it. And what's wrong is wrong, and I'm gonna address it. It's wrong. I'm sure if he's getting arrested, he may have done something wrong. Most likely, it doesn't I mean, matter what the fuck whatever it, it is. was because we was really a don't know. Fraudulent check. We have some. We have oh, is that something. What it was? I, That's I, it. We have something in this country called due process. Mm-hmm. If I go out and I kill somebody, the circumstances are up for. It's it's up to a jury of my peers to decide whether or not those circumstances. It's in those circumstances. It's justified. It's not up to the police to fucking kneel on somebody's fucking head for nine minutes and kill them. That is murder. It was murder. That is I murder. I can't believe he they got just fired, got fired. And they fired the three other officers that were there. Yeah, they, they all should go in. All of them. Um, the reason that they did that and the only reason that they fucking did that is because the Minneapolis, after that homegirl uh, home got shot, I believe it was, a, it was the lady who got shot. In 2016, they passed a law that said, if any police officer witnesses one of his peers... Using excessive force, they are obligated to step in or they can be fired. Mm -hmm. So those guys all fired. No, they are accessories to murder, period. Yes. They were too worried about the bystanders. Right. And guess what? It just so happens the bystanders were right. Yeah. So when I hear somebody come out and say, support your local law enforcement, um, no, no, not until this problem is fixed. I would love to be able to support my local law enforcement, but when was the last time you saw, you saw lights or you saw lights in your rear view mirror and you felt like you were being protected? When was the last, the last time? time lights were behind my mirrors was in Punta Gorda, Florida. It was about 10 years ago. It was summertime. I just came back from doing some shopping at Walmart. And one of my headlights was out, but it wasn't dark. It wasn't nighttime yet. The cop saw me because, you know, we were, I was driving on a two-way street. All of a sudden, he's behind me with lights on me. He goes, you have any idea why I'm stopping you? I'm like, I don't know. I'm doing 30 on a 30. <laughs> right. He goes, well, your headlight's out. I said, well, it's still daylight. He goes, it doesn't matter. He goes, uh... What do you have in the car? And I'm like, I have groceries. He goes, I see a 12-pack of Heineken. I'll never forget this guy, okay? His name was Officer Ayers. Punta Gorda PD. You can look him up online. And he, since he saw the 12-pack, he goes, I have to look inside your car. I said, well, I don't want you looking inside my car. You really don't have... A real reason. He goes, well, it's either that. I'm going to get dogs. It's going to take 45 minutes. And I had to get the fuck out of there. So I let him search my car. He searched me. He didn't find nothing. And he kept saying, I know you have something. Just give it to me. I was like, well, you already searched my car. You searched me three times. I took my sneakers off. Where is it? So he finally let me go. A year later, he gets fired from the force. For what? Is a corrupt cop. Okay. I'm not, no, there is no blind support. Nobody has to blindly support fucking anything. You don't have to blindly support your president. 
You don't have to blindly support your police force. You don't have to blindly support your mayor. You don't have to blindly support anybody ever. That's what this country was built on. And you know what? Fuck was it. questioning, questioning what is right and what is wrong. The police in this problem, in this country, we have a problem. Through and through. We have a serious fucking problem. And until that gets solved, no. No. And you know what? I realize that I am in a more privileged position to not support my police than somebody that is your color. Or is, I mean, you're pretty white, but you're half, me- you're, you're, you're half Mexican. Mm. Or anybody of color, because I am white. I could probably scream at that cop. I could probably storm my fucking government building with an AR and nothing would happen to me. Meanwhile, homeboy in, uh, what's his name? Floyd? Uh, Something, what was his first name? George Floyd? Mm -hmm. George Floyd in Minnesota. Suspicion of a fraudulent check. Suspicion. And he's dead. That's not cool. It's not cool. It's not cool to over-politicize it. It's not cool to say, well, look at all the riots. That doesn't happen in white neighborhoods. That doesn't, man, if you don't fucking stop it. What's wrong is wrong, and you got to address it when it's wrong. I'm not going to participate in something that is wrong. And I addressed it with with someone, and I was like, look, man, (laughs) this is is horrible. How are you going to back this up? You guys know who uh, Mohammed Noor is? No. He's a cop in uh, same area. And uh, something along those lines happened last year. And he wasn't just fired. He got 12 years. Want to take a wild guess what color his skin color is? What? Not white. It's not saying that, you know, if you're, if you're only, if you're black, should you be afraid of the cops? But it's, White people just as a whole, for the most part, they can't grasp their head around it. The people that aren't understanding it don't see it as true. And I'm sick and tired of the people that want to stand up for cops and say, well, if you don't like your cops, then you better not be calling 911. What? That? Okay. If somebody were to break into my house, no, I'm not going to blindly support the police. But if somebody breaks in my house, Yes, I'm going to call 911. And yes, I expect them to do their job. You know why? Because that's what they signed up to do. Because that's what they're fucking paid to do. They are paid to do a job, and they're paid to do it impartially. And they don't fucking do it. So yeah, I'm going to call. Because that's what they are paid to do. And if you do it wrong, and if you fucking kill somebody, you should go to jail like anybody else. You shouldn't get protected. You shouldn't get fucking fired. I guarantee you, if I go outside and I get in a fight with your neighbor and I kneel on the back of his head until he dies, I'm going to get arrested on sight. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the 90s when uh, Giuliani came up with the stop and frisk, which Bloomberg takes credibility for it. It wasn't him. Um, yeah, they messed with us. I mean, they, they saw bulgy pockets. We would get stopped. They searched us. They let us go. There was none of this bullshit. Stop and frisk, I'm iffy about the stop and frisk now because now they're they're taking advantage of the fucking situation. Well, they're profiling. Yeah, they're profiling. They've been profiling. They were profiling in the 90s. How many white people got stopped and frisked? I never saw one, but I didn't live in a white neighborhood until now, and I still don't see that, and I live in a white neighborhood. You know what I mean? It's like we look back and we talk about the Ahmaud Aubrey situation. Where people thought he was stealing. Yeah, yeah they yeah. thought he was stealing. And then in that exact same neighborhood, there was a guy that ran through that neighborhood on a two-mile run with a TV on his shoulders recording to prove a fucking point. Yep. No one called. No one said anything. That was another murder that wasn't deserved. I mean, no it's murder a, is. But yeah. Unless they're trying point, to rob you and you shoot the motherfucker, then yeah, he deserved it. I think Somebody was, step into my crib. I have a firearm. I'm shooting your, your ass. Your job as a police officer is to arrest people, to subdue them. Arrest, protect. Your job is to restrain people and de-escalate situations. Mm-hmm. That's your job. 
If you're not doing that, I don't support you. You're not a fucking superhero. You don't get any privilege my besides job, other people. My, when I'm at work, my job is to sell cars effectively and make right. money. Yes. If I don't do that, do I get supported? No. You don't even get paid. <laughs> you don't get paid unless you sell. No. Fuck you. I, I No. I, I'm, I'm over it, man. I'm over this conversation. But it's a conversation that needs to be had until people start to understand what the fuck is going on. And here's the problem. <clears throat> the only way this changes at this point is the any the only way anything like these type of situations are able to change is it's going to have to be people that have a voice that aren't affected. Because clearly the first option isn't working. If you're not affected by it, it needs to be those that are unaffected standing up for those that can't stand up for themselves. Here's another issue too, like New York City, and because I look a lot of, of their news, they've changed policing so much that cops are scared to stop you now. And it's sad because you can have a someone that might have hurt someone and you don't want to touch that person now. So it's, it's fucking up police. You just got to do period. it responsibly and they shouldn't be afraid to do that if they're properly trained. Yeah, if you're doing period. It. You need to be properly trained. We need to overhaul our police training. Every active police officer needs to go through additional training in, in de-escalation techniques. And every and, five years a special training on... And you know who would be glad policing. to fucking teach these people that? There's a lot of unemployed veterans out there. There's a yes. lot of unemployed veterans out there yes, that I'm sure yes. would love to teach that. Because even in combat, you are not, someone has to break the rules of engagement for you yeah. to shoot. Yeah. That is correct. So, what are we even, t I don't understand how this is a conversation. Where, because I'm sitting here saying that this, that a man shouldn't have died I don't support the police. If that's what, if you're taking that hard line, then yeah, fuck yeah. Then yeah, I don't fucking support them. If that's your hard line. It's fucked up, man. I'm tired of it. I think Russ, Russ had a tweet today that I really, I stand with. And it says, uh, for the non-black pe people who use the, I'm not racist, my friends are black comment, you should be pissed off about what's going on, not silent. That could have been one of your so-called friends. Yep. And he says, and by the way, if you're one of the people who uses that comment, chances are you're probably racist. Chances are good. Um, yeah, the riot. It's a shame to see rioting. I don't like to see rioting either because I think we could, how do you do it better? I mean, everybody's well, upset. And look, I've been watching these riots. It's not only black people rioting. White people, they're doing it too. You know, and, and you know, funny how, the, the, how do you it, resolve this It started this problem? as a protest, as a peaceful protest. It started as yeah. a peaceful protest. But one peaceful protest, the ones in Michigan that everybody is glorifying, the ones with fucking assault rifles, the ones with screaming in front of police officers, the ones with pushing fucking police officers, the ones with invading fucking uh, government buildings. Yeah. If, they sat around. If, if someone this like, one that started as a peaceful protest, they, got they were gassed. met with tear gas. Yeah. They yeah. were met with no, force. It's true. And Malcolm X always said that you got to deal with your enemy in the language that they understand. And that's he wasn't always one. right. Yeah. Martin Luther, but, Martin Luther King if, said if, that a riot is the language of the unheard. Well, guess what? We need to start fucking listening. If I went to a government building with, a with, with, with Arsenal, dude, I'll be doing 50 years right now. Minimum. Yeah. Or life. Riot is the language of the unheard. The problem with the rioting is that it destroys yes, the neighborhood. It you is. Know a, what I mean? It is it's your problem. neighborhood. It is a problem. It, it, it's a huge problem for me because don't destroy your neighborhood. But those, it's your neighborhood. But make no mistake. Those riots started as a peaceful protest. They did, and it got out of hand. Like every riot. <laughs> That's why they call riots. It's just, yeah. I don't know what to tell. If, if you don't understand why people are rioting, then you've never been in a position to where you needed to. And that's okay. 
I there's, lived through a riot. There's nothing wrong with that, but you need to keep an open mind. If you don't keep an open mind, you're just an ass clown. I lived through a riot in the early 90s. Um, I lived in a black and Jewish community. And um, the Jews have their own policing. They have their own EMS. They have their own everything because they pay so much money to the city. And uh, they could pretty much do whatever they want. And it was a summer. And this little black kid got hit by a vehicle by a Jewish driver. The, dri- the driver wasn't hurt. They called they called 911 and their ambulance came and picked up the driver and let the kid die. And it Ew, just fuck. became a whole fucking mess. Uh, it was about three weeks of rioting. And on top of that, we had our first black mayor. And... Uh, it just made made the whole everything look bad, you know. It does look um, bad. It looks nasty. It looks even nastier watching a nine minute video of a cop killing a man. It sucks that it's it's to the point now where all the violence is understandable now. It's not right. No, but it's what not the right. fuck? But make it, make yeah. fucking racist scared again. Hey man, knock your neighborhood racist the fuck out, or just buy your hood. Seriously. And knock them the fuck out. I'm done. I'm so irritated with it. I'm done. I've almost lost my job twice this week. Twice. Somebody's going to get hit, and I don't really fucking care. A little, I care a little bit. I got bills to pay. That's right. You better <laughs> care. You still got a day job. It's fine. I will knock somebody the fuck out off the clock. I got time. It's annoying. I'm done with it. <clears throat> I'm sick and tired of it. And chances are, myself included, as much as you've been an advocate for things and as loud as you want to say things, you need to do more. Like I said, that puts myself included. I need to do more. We all need to do more. The only way this changes is if we do more. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Everyone needs to do more. Yeah. I'm fucking done with this topic. Let's move on. I guess. Well, um, want to bounce into something light? I'm just going to bounce into no, something. No, I don't. I'm too pissed off. All right, right let's fucking go. Let's um, fucking go. So... We've said it before on this podcast. Um, It's been a pretty pretty, uh, rampant topic for discussion for just about anywhere since, um, specifically since Trump took office. Uh, We tend to avoid politics a little bit. I'm not going to do that. I'll give you the... Time codes below if you want to skip this. More than welcome to, but I'm going to say it anyway because I need to utilize my platform responsibly. Misinformation. Lying. Is bad. Always. We're taught that as children. I haven't Don't met a lie. politician that has told the truth. Don't lie. Don't spread misinformation, blatant misinformation. How many, how many times do you not say anything to your mom? And she said, well, you're still lying. Mm. You're lying because you're not telling me anything. Mm. Um, Twitter fact-checked two of Trump's tweets. More specifically, tweets on mail-in ballots. So basically, they didn't take down the tweets. They left them up, but they did put a tag on it. They said, "This this may contain misleading information. Click the link for more information. They cited CNN, The Washington Post, and multiple other news outlets um, and, and studies. And they said this, basically he's saying that mail-in ballots will cause widespread voter fraud. I'm not okay with the mail-in ballots. I think you need to show up to the polls and that's if you're going to vote, That's vote. not the no, point no, no, no. of this conversation. I can't not the point. about it. Not the point. Um, it's literally proven to not be fraudulent. There has been almost no fraud. In mail-in ballots, there's been a couple of random cases, and they actually benefited Republicans in those cases. 
Florida. I, I don't think it should be allowed. Period. It unless already is allowed. Mili- unless it already you're in the military allowed. and you're overseas doing, you can shit. do it. Besides that, I'm out on the program. You can already do that. Besides, don't that. like it. Don't Why? like it. Why? Because of those same exact reasons. How the fuck we know? Even though it's a proven fact. Any more? How do? What do you mean? How do we know? How, how do we know it's it's fraudulent? Not fraudulent. How do you track that? How do you track it with the with the electronic with mail- polls? Computers. Computers can't be manipulated. Yeah, it could be hacked. How did we ever have elections before computers? Physical ballots. Physical ballots. Where they come from means nothing. Uh, each individual state processes mail-in ballots in a different way. Mm-hmm. Some states are Republican. Some states are Democrat. How many recounts has Florida had in the last 20 years? Always. Yeah. Um, I could count three that I know of. Yep. I'll leave that, I'll leave that at that um, without pointing fingers. But you have to register ahead right. to do a mail-in ballot so they can properly track where your ballot comes from. Where you mail it to. There's specific areas that they go to that so no one gets overwhelmed and every vote is counted. There's systems in place for this. This has been a thing for a very long time. Does not, proven to not be voter fraud, period. What is proven is gerrymandering. Gerrymandering is where they redraw county and district lines. Mm. So certain people have to travel a ridiculous amount. To get to polls. Mm-hmm. Instead of being able to vote the one five minutes away. You're familiar with that in New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, North Carolina is another big one. Virginia is another big one. New York's a big one. California is a big one for the gerrymandering. This is also politicians can manipulate people not to vote. Period. They want certain people to vote. And other people not to vote. A mail-in vote in the middle of a fucking pandemic, by the way. Makes sense. Makes sense. If you register properly. Trump was tweeting about the registration forms that were being mailed out. Not even the ballots. Mm -hmm. Saying it's going to cause fraud. That is false information, period. At the very least, misleading. Uh, Multiple sources say that's false. So, yeah, that should be fact-checked. We can't have... The president of the United States just getting his base riled up, getting people mad because over something that's not true. And it's because his numbers are sliding. I don't think his numbers are sliding. His numbers are sliding big time. According to Fox News, they're sliding. And that's shocking because it's Fox News and now he hates them. (laughs) His numbers are sliding. He's doing this because he's scared. By the way, he just signed an executive order that is going to repeal part of the act uh, enacted in 1996 saying that social media companies uh, don't face certain liability um, because or because there are private companies that have their terms of service. And if you violate those terms of service, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Okay. Uh, he signed an executive order in response to them fact checking him. By the way, he was wrong. This is voter suppression. This is suppression of information. This is basically clearing the way so he can tweet and say whatever the fuck he wants, whether it's based in fact or not. He sits there and says, we test more per capita than any other country. We're 33rd. Belarus tests more people for coronavirus than us per capita. That's a lie. He should not be able to do that. If you're a politician, you should be, you should be subjected to fact checks or you should not be a politician. So if you have a problem with politicians lying and you support this executive order, you're a fucking hypocrite. If you don't like it, don't use Twitter. Go to Facebook. Zuckerberg loves, <laughs> won't silence, he won't silence the dude. They were the last to take Alex Jones off. So go to Facebook. Why doesn't he do that? Because he loves Twitter. Yes. Because you don't have to speak in coherent sentences on Twitter. And he has more followers on Twitter. He's deliberately spreading spreading misinformation. 
We have an oligarch. We have one person that is trying to consolidate power, period. That is what is happening right now. If you don't see it, I'm sorry, but that's what's happening. Um, I don't understand how anybody can sit there and support this guy anymore. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how they can support Biden either. Because uh, no, no, no. I'm not doing the bait and switch thing. No, this isn't about this isn't a conversation. Thing. Yes, it is. Don't want to do the bait this and switch thing. They is both not, fucking suck. This is not a bait they and switch thing. They both fucking suck. That's fine. Okay? Biden's a that's, piece of shit that, too. That, that's fine. All right. He's I'm a not piece talking of shit. about. I'm not talking about Joe Biden right now. I'm talking about Donald Trump. Don't do that bait and switch bullshit on me because I don't understand how this man can watch a hundred thousand people die more per capita than any other country in the world, more than any other country in the world. We have 4% or 6% of the world's population. We have 26% of deaths. How the fuck does that make sense? When South Korea, who has a 10th of our population, has 270 fucking deaths. It's because he failed. He failed to, he failed to act. He failed to shut down. He wouldn't do, any, he wouldn't do anything because he wanted to keep his precious stock market up and his economy up. Well, guess what? Our economy now is the only one that's in complete economic collapse. We are the only one with a depression right now. The closest to us would be Britain. We are the only ones. And he's fucking responsible and he fucking knows it. I agree. Period. There's no other way to fucking look at it. This guy can't lead. He can't make critical decisions. He has no idea. No fucking idea how to handle a crisis. And I don't, I don't like Joe Biden either, bro. That's why I'm not voting. I don't like neither. I'm not gonna I make don't the like, same I don't mistake like Joe Biden I made either. But you know four what? years ago. You know what? Joe Biden and Barack Obama set up the pandemic task force that Donald Trump got rid of in 2018. They were the ones who prepared us. They're the ones who handed over the playbook. Mitch McConnell admitted this. Mitch McConnell, fucking Moscow Mitch, baby, admitted. Yes, we did have a playbook. We didn't follow it. My bad. I didn't know that. He admitted it. They had the playbook. They had the task force. They had all the resources set up, and they cut them in 2018. And guess what? Now we've got 100,000 people dead. Joe Biden, Joe Biden can manage a crisis. Joe Biden, 100,000 people don't die. Period. And if you don't believe that, buddy, I got, I got news Still for you. Still won't get my vote. Well, no, no, no. I'm not voting. I'm not showing up. That's fine. I don't give a you, fuck. It's perfectly. You guys can argue about it all it's day perfect. for the next four years. It's, I'll wait four years to get the right fucking vote. It's perfectly fine. It is your right not to vote. Ain't doing it. But I don't want to hear any complaints from you when this. I will when, not. When that ra- because Donald Trump is a pro- vote. Donald Trump is a proven racist from a proven racist family. He yeah, said again. a Hispanic judge who was born in Indiana could not effectively do his job because he's Hispanic. You're, you're voting for the two lesser racist. I'm not doing that. Okay. No. So you'd rather have the more racist than the less racist. It's- Nope, because the last time I had a vote for the lesser of the two evils. I'm not doing this bullshit anymore. So you'd rather so you would I'd rather, rather stay have, and let you guys do whatever the fuck y'all want. You would rather have the more racist than the less no, racist. No. Because no, if Joe Biden doesn't no. get elected, it's people that didn't show up no, that are responsible I, for it. I'm not showing up for neither. Not included. And you're just as bad. Not included. Ain't doing it. We just had a whole conversation about people of color. Yeah, I know we did. I'm not doing it. We I'm just had a whole Biden. conversation about it. I'm not picking it. Trump. I can care less about the both of them right now. Well, Fuck guess that. what? We're in a, we're we're in an era right now where people are going to have to start to take a hard line, and they're going to have to start to stand up for what they fucking believe in. Yep, that's the era that we are approaching quickly right now. Unfortunately, but yeah, because he is <clears throat> literally came out in support of white nationalists, the same people that will kneel on a black guy's head until he dies. And you also have Biden that uh, likes to keep minorities incarcerated. So why am I going to vote for that fucking guy? And Donald Trump doesn't. They both are. They're full of shit. You're saying that Joe Biden is as as racist as Donald Trump. he's just as racist to me. That's wrong. Just as racist. That, that is, that is absolute, They're both equally racist. That is to me. absolutely a racist. False. Is a fucking racist. Period. That is. A, yeah, I I'm agree not with doing you. Doing it. I agree with you. But Joe Biden's policy does not say that. Donald Trump's does. 
Donald Trump will divide us and we will be in the middle of a race war. Same as Biden. No. They're both the same No, shit. you're fucking wrong, man. Yeah. They're both the same You're fucking shit wrong. Too. Not doing it. Now, you don't have to do it, but you're wrong. Period. So when we get another four years, we get another fucking crisis that comes and we ended up in fucking World War III because this fucking ass clown has no idea how to manage a crisis. It's going to be the people that didn't vote. I'm going to be looking at y'all. All of y'all. I'll vote. I will be. I haven't not voted since I had my ability to. And I don't like... <laughs> and I, I'm not a Democrat. Not a Democrat. But I'll be voting for one. Because I can't handle this anymore. I'm tired of the lies. Tired of the inability to get anything fucking done. All those campaign promises, none of them have come true. We are 20, what, we have 41 million unemployed right now? Hmm. How many does South Korea have? Not that much. Hmm. I wonder why. Yeah, the economy was the best economy, but uh, unfortunately, we experienced we got in a pandemic. Yeah, sure. I mean, unfortunately, you the know, rest of let, the world got we, into we a pandemic. Viruses the rest slide of slide through the, the fucking cracks. The rest, I mean, the rest of the world is in the same pandemic as we are. Ours is the only one in a free fall. The entire world got it. There's only one country that, there were one place that hasn't got one case. You know what it is? American Samoa. Only one place. The rest of the world is. Ours is in a free fall. We have 41 million unemployed. It isn't because of the pandemic. It's because of a failure to lead. A failure to act. The only other country that did it like us was Great Britain. Great Britain hasn't opened up. I know. They're not going to open up. No, nope, because they put so much fucking pressure on them. Yeah. That they're forced into acting. And they're paying their citizens. Listen, man. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So buckle up, boys. <laughs> it's going to be a fucked up thing I can say years. is wear your mask. Wear your fucking mask, please. Wear your mask, man. It, I mean, you know, I've, I've been seeing reports. So it's Florida. It's 80 degrees. Wear your mask. We're indoors majority of the time, and it's AC everywhere. It's not that oh. hard. All right, what's next? Well, next topic. Next topic. I swear I didn't have a conniption. I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have something that I was excited to anything see. Anything new in music? Uh, I'm not I on music yet. I'm not on music yet. Netflix announced an original series that I'm very excited about. Which what one's is that? it? The Chronicles of Narnia. Nice. Oh, wow, that sounds pretty good. Well, you know, Netflix is going to put money into it. It's going to be good. They showed four pictures, and it's four separate books. So nice. I'm already very optimistic about it. Very. I haven't looked um, into uh, who's doing it. I don't think they've really announced well, that one. Uh, J.J. Abrams signed a three-project deal. I'm not sure if it's movies or shows. I think it's a combination of both with Warner Media, which is HBO. So HBO just launched their new platform yesterday called HBO Max. Before that's, that's where the Snyder version is going. Before there was HBO Go and HBO Now. Uh -huh. HBO Go was for people who had cable that had HBO with it. You could log on on that app. Mm -hmm. HBO Now was for people who didn't have cable. Confusing as fuck and stupid. They got rid of them both. Gone. It's all one service now called HBO Max. You can log in if you have cable. You can log in with it. You get all that stuff, uh, all the HBO catalog, which is a lot, 40 years worth of stuff. And if you don't have it, you can go sign up for HBO Now. Now, What is this, a merger with, with HBO and who? No, Warner is always. Oh, it, Warner? It, yeah, they bankroll it, HBO. Oh, right. So Wait, so HBO Max. If you have HBO, you automatically get HBO Max. Correct. If but you don't if you, have HBO, you can also get HBO Max. They're not separated anymore. Did they, did they say a price? $14.99. Same price. Fuck, I'm going to get another prescription subscription. Dude, I have I have fucking Hulu. I have Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. I don't I have. Man, you I have add Net all that shit up, you're broke. I have Netflix. <laughs> I'm fine, bro. No. Because I'm smart about it. The Guess what? I pay for Hulu and Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. He has... 
ESPN Plus. Not has Netflix. I have Netflix because I have T-Mobile, but he also has other ones. Dude, you get so many other people. Jared has Amazon Prime. I have all of them. I pay for all of them. Regular T. Yeah, you're dumb. You're yeah. crazy, dude. <laughs> no, I don't have cable. Oh, that's true. That's okay, true. That's so true. That, yeah. Who the yeah. fuck has cable anymore? I have YouTube I TV, have, which is I have cable. Comcast. Now, really? the only thing that's different about I only have the TV because it makes my TV, bill cheaper. Dude. So now with this merger, uh-huh. the big the bigger thing about this whole thing is with this merger, there's original content coming. Oh. So basically, like oh. Netflix has its own shows and stuff like that. They merged oh. both there, they got rid of HBO now and everything like that. They made it <laughs> consolidated into one. Oh. And they got a huge check from Warner to pay for original content. Hence JJ, people like JJ Abrams signing up for three projects. So You've got a lot of original content coming to HBO Max, which is super, super fucking cool. We need more good content. We need more good content. Speaking of good content, <laughs> bad. I just got done binge watching, re watching for God knows how many times Avatar The Last Airbender. And nice. it is fucking phenomenal. And I will stand on that fucking forever. That's the best anime TV show ever. Clone Wars is way better. No, it's not. Way no, better. it's not. Suck a dick. It's way not even close. Way better. Not even close. A Nickelodeon show will never, ever fucking beat the Clone Wars. Bro, nope. that is the best animated TV show ever. Nope. Ever. The Clone Wars shits on it. No, it does not. So, not um, even close. Not even close. They're both great. but the They Clone- are both great, but, but the, not even close. But the Clone Wars shits on it. I'm going to compare IMDb scores right now because I'm just going to be pissed about it. Do it. What's fucking Clone, what's Clone Wars? Watch them be tied or something. I'd be so fucking mad. Clone Wars is 8.2. What's Avatar? 9.2. <sighs> yeah. It's a great fucking show, bro. I'm telling you. It is. Oh, it is. God. I love it. And... Zuko has probably the greatest fucking redemption story character development just ever. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Fuck you. No, dude. I really love that M. Night Shyamalan movie, though. That movie was garbage. (laughs) Holy fuck. That's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I don't know. How how do you fuck that up? I don't know. How does M. Night fuck that up? I don't know. M. Night just tried to be too much like M. Night and just fucked that whole thing up. Bad. Bad. They didn't even say. Why did you give them accents? I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand any of it. I don't. Why would you? Oh man, I'm mad. <laughs> don't get him going on Avatar. No, it, that movie it is cool. that, was almost as bad. Now that was part as of the of, Return of Superman. No, oof. with Brandon Routh. That, that is one of the worst oof, movies oof, I have horrible. fucking ever seen. No, Green Lantern was way worse than that. Oof. Ooh, yeah, Green Lantern was way worse. And then Return of Superman. If you want like a how-to guide on how not to make a movie, go watch Green Lantern. (laughs) Fuck you, Charles. (laughs) Yeah, that movie was. Oh yeah, by the way, (laughs) we do have a promo code in our store. It's called Fuck You, Charles. Is it still there? No, it's definitely still. Yes. Yeah, ten percent off anything in our store if you do the promo code Fuck Fuck You, you, Charles, Charles and Fuck Green Lantern. Whoa. (laughs) 10% <laughs> 10% off anything in the New Age Limited store. Are we ready for our new inventory? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming within probably about, give me, yeah, probably about another 10 days. <laughs> yeah, I made visors and t-shirts and, I, and shorts yeah, and I, can, I can't wait to put them in the store. Jeremy you know, kills me. You yeah. know what they say? They're magenta light writing and they say, where the whores at? <laughs> Woo! Is that going to be on the boom line? Yes. Hell yeah. Right. Where are the whores at? I want to do masks too. I think that'd be dope. Where are the whores at? Just give the people what they want. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get every fucking frat to sell out on them. Oh, yeah. They'll, they'll be like, yo, 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 yo. Where are the whores at? Visor. Hey, yo, where the whores at? <laughs> Dude, I'm going to wear the shit out of those. <laughs> Damn, you dude. got the what what we supposed to do shirt done? That one is very close. I I'm getting there on that. I still got That's where I'm at right now. What we supposed what we supposed to do? Yep. So we've got a couple new lines coming to the New Age Limited store. I'll put the promo code on the screen. Fuck you, Charles, for 10% off. 
Um, it's something like that. I can't remember exactly what the code is, but this is something like that. I did. A, I think it is "fuck you, Charles." Yeah, it's something like that. Oh well, it's incredible. Um, just want to say I love Charles though. Still, oh for sure. But fuck you, Charles. Yeah, but fuck you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I totally forgot about that. It just made my day. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. Pull me playing this weekend. Yeah, on Saturday. Um, Saturday stream this week. So. <sighs> Streams are changing a little bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Why, now? dude? <laughs> Streams are gonna change a little Man, bit. I got the st- end of your last stream. <sighs> were you there? You were ripped. Were you there? Because yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was Listen, sober. I drank. We had two bottles of fucking Pink Whitney. We had a fridge full of beer, and we had a bottle of 70th anniversary Don Julio ready. It took him 25 minutes to shut off the screen. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine because I blacked the fuck out to the point where we were outside. I tripped, and guess what? I got a fucking concussion. Bro, I'm missing part of my eyebrow. (laughs) (laughs) I smoked the concrete, knocked myself out cold. We got it on video. It's on video. You got to post that. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. That's getting posted. So I've made the decision ultimately yes, Boom's house party. (laughs) This is coming down to one of two ways. Either A, I'm going to shorten the stream because I know who I am as a human. <laughs> Probably I, I don't think it's smart of me to, to DJ for four hours with unlimited supply of alcohol in my own home. Probably not. Nah, I don't think it was a good idea. Dude, you literally took 25 minutes to show I, up to screen. Dude, I you don't... Were, you were there at the end? I watched everything. Oh I yeah. don't know it. He broke I, his microphone. I broke I, my he, microphone. I know he broke something, and then I see the pad fucking fall down. <laughs> Which is okay, because I bought a new one. Glad It'll be like here tomorrow. Money. Huh? Neo was, dude, Neo was like, dude, Josh tried to flip the table. <laughs> yeah, like, what that. the fuck is he doing? I dude, knew he was fucked up. Listen, I was like, bro. no, he didn't. He was like, dude, Josh literally said, I just DJed for four fucking hours. This is my fucking house and tried to flip the fucking table. <laughs> and we were like, we had to sit on it so he wouldn't flip it. <laughs> were you still here? No. You left? I yeah. don't remember him leaving. <laughs> I know you were there for a little while. I left at 12.30. I oh, was in and out of the... Fuck. <laughs> I left at 12.30. I think the stream ended at 1.15. 1.15, yes. <laughs> I was watching. <laughs> I was waiting for him to just to shut off the screen. I'm like, what is he doing? There's no music playing. His boy, the redhead kid that hangs out in here, was just Spack. staring at the goddamn screen Edgar, for no reason. Edgar, he fucking reason. lives here. He doesn't <laughs> hang out here. He lives here. I know he does. He's like the know. fucking jerk off that just fucking lives in that room. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like oh, he's, he's standing in front of the screen and he's wrecked too. And Dude, you see him, we he's were like this. Fucked. <laughs> he was like this, like he was on a DUI checkpoint, waiting to fail the DUI. But listen, I mean, here's what we're gonna hilarious. switch it to. I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna A <laughs> shorten the stream because I don't need to be streaming that long. Plus, no. like, I'll be honest. I bro, think two hours is good. It'll probably be like two and a half. Yeah. Because it'll be the half hour Fuck. lobby. It'll, no, it'll be the half hour lobby. And then it'll be the hour guest set. And then it'll be an hour of me. Okay. And then I'll probably wrap it up. Yeah. I say probably because I'm, I'm terrible. But how I'm going to get around that whole not having the stream long, you will only see me drink claws and beers. From now on. <laughs> Stop fucking telling me to do a beer bong because I'm going to do it every fucking time, bro. Yeah, you keep listening to people. It's called Boom's House Party, bro. You know know what I do at house parties? I get fucking wasted. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) but you're still doing the show. It was, dude, I I was as drunk as how we used to get in the trailer. Yeah. Like, it was like someone yelled rage and I tried to just fucking go ape shit. Yeah, dude, you tried to flip the table. Yeah, that's that's new. (laughs) That's new. Normally, I'm not that reckless, but bro, I don't remember fucking anything. Anything after midnight, right. not a damn Yikes. thing, bro. I woke up, you dude. I tried to leave. You're like, you can't leave, bro. I'm like, what? I'm leaving, bro. You're like, you can't. It's a boys' night, <laughs> dude. To be fair, bro, <laughs> you shouldn't have left. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm aware of that. <laughs> Next time I tell you, you, I've never told you you can't leave. <laughs> Next time I tell you you can't leave, for the love of fucking God, just stay, because <laughs> that means I am no longer the adult. In the house. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, no, it was. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. streams are changing. We have additional streams coming to you. We're not sure what we're doing with our Twitch accounts yet. We're um, going to do some cool shit. We're. 
something that we've always wanted to do since we started the new age. We wanted to have multiple areas that we're going to hit. We want to do film stuff. We want to do music. We want to do, uh, str- we've always wanted to, he's always wanted to live stream. We finally got that up and running. So we're live streaming now. I know Edgar's been on board for that. I since really the very like beginning. the live stream. I, I think it's a go. It's so a we're also going to be live streaming. And the one thing that I really wanted to do was hit gaming. Uh, there's a, We wanted Jared to get in on that. That didn't work out. Um, so we want to do like relevant games. And we want to we live we're stream We're not gaming. terrible gamers. No. But I promise you'll want to listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna. We're just gonna have a good time. With so you guys are gonna be playing games and talking about it and talking to other people while you're yeah. playing, games. interacting just, with the chat. Yeah, I yep. like that. Yeah. That, so we're that, gonna be that, doing that'll, gaming. That'll, uh, that'll be up on Twitch as well. He's already got obviously your Twitch channel. We don't know if we're gonna convert that to New Age yet. We might. We, we're figuring out the. the but things. either way, we're going to be uh, hitting gaming pretty hard. We're, we're gonna we'll launch some merch with that too. Um, you're gonna see more content. Me and I did put my head d- together with Travis. I told Edgar briefly about this during the week. Um, me and Travis are gonna be linking up. We're gonna be doing uh, gear reviews for camera gear um, for everyone who's interested in maybe how we set up our podcast and make it look the way we do, uh, make it sound the way we do. Uh, Josh will take you step by step on how he mixes audio. I'm going to take you step by step on how we not only set up and built this studio, but how we, what equipment we use to do it with and how I light it and all that good stuff. I I, like this new lighting, by the way. Yeah. That's why I took off my glasses. Yeah. That other shit. It's a little, it's a little killing me. I mean, it's still there. It's still there, but it's (laughs) right over there. Yeah. But it's not in my face. It's coming behind it. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, these soft boxes are nice. Yeah, I like the soft so, boxes a lot. More. But yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff like that, to more tutorial work. We got my brainchild starting too. Uh, yes, Josh is going to be doing, uh, he's a huge sneakerhead, obviously. Um, so, <laughs> so. Peep the cat! <laughs> Did you get those for free? Did you just say Peep the cat? Peep the kids. Oh, gotcha. Kicks. Peep the cat. Peep the cat, look at her pussy. <laughs> Jesus. Peep so, the yeah. cat. But we're going to be doing some unboxing for gear, too. I do have one that I'm going to be shooting tomorrow. He's doing a, a unboxing for shoes. We're going to be shooting that tomorrow. Um, They're fire. We've got a lot of stuff that we're just going to be hitting content. Um, a lot of content. You will not create more than us. And that's that's a fact. Mm-hmm. And Let's in the go. meantime, we'll, we can, you know, if we get to the point to where we can start doing this full time, you can hang out with us on, and play video games on our stream. Um, that, that's kind of my goal is just to make this more of a community, more of a lifestyle. Like, Hey, let's all do what we want. Let's support each other. Like if, you know, if you support my stream and you give me a fucking gifted subscriber or then I'll go to your stream and give you a gifted subscriber. Like, I mean, I, let's all make use of this time to do what we want to fucking do. It's the do. perfect time to create. <clears throat> Yo, Rob Markman talks a lot about it too. That He's been in the studio. I mean, he's putting out music after music after music after music. I like it. Um, I'm glad that a lot of creators are taking the opportunity to yeah. uh, go out and put their work it's out. It's a good time to do it. Listen, I, I, I'm i going to put together a... Well, I've already put together a streaming setup. Um, the last pieces of equipment are coming next week. I think I'm um, ordering mine this weekend. So, and he's going to order his. I and upgraded my fucking internet too. I you know, just we show up. Gang shit. And then, guess, and then guess what else I can do? I can put out a video on our setup for streaming and how to do that. Um, under $600. You can set up a full streaming with a face cam, with everything. You just need a computer and a game system. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have those two things, I mean, you can have a pro professional streaming. Click. For under six hundred bucks, and then you can upgrade it as you go. Yeah, your channel starts getting people. You start raking in money. Upgrade your your studio. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to be putting out a lot of content like that too. Yes, yeah, so. another podcast starting soon too. I'm in the process of finding yep. the last pieces of the. Uh, are you guys taking to a, a trip to the beach again? Um, like the content that we were doing last year. Yeah, eventually. Once it's safe, yeah. it is safe. It's not. Just stay away from people. No. I'm not doing it. No, I'm not going to do it either. If I think people are dumb for going to the beach, I can't go to the beach. That's just hypocritical. I can't do it. I'm not ready. It needs to be way more chilled out. And it's like, when it's I see, not even when me. I see I'm under- not worried about me. Like, the chances of me getting the virus 
or it like a point where it's detrimental to my health are so very fucking low. So very fucking low. But I don't care about me. It's, it's no, all I get the other it. people I, that I mean, you know, when I have a client, I, I put on my mask. I don't wear my mask all day because, you know, it hurts. It's doing they want to sit on your ears and, all yeah, day. Exactly. It fucking hurts. But uh, if I have a client and, and yeah, out of respect, because one, my wife is an ER nurse. So, I mean, you know, COVID's in my fucking and, house. And we primarily and, deal with elderly. And we, so. we deal with elderly. So, yeah, I out of respect, I do put on my mask. Yesterday, I went and I got a haircut and my barber, very clean. Shout out to Ed, Ed the barber. Uh, sprayed Mine's down better. the chair. Now, you guys got bootleg haircuts. Bro, my, but, um, my, I got the best barber, bro. My get barber. Get out of here. I, okay. If, if your barber's better. Mine just, was clean. He sprayed the fucking chair. Mother. Jeremy doesn't go to the barber yet, though. Not so yet. You don't count. He sprayed the chair. I like Sandra. Listen, yeah. Sandra's fire. He, he sprayed the chair. Mm -hmm. Put hand sanitizer on. He put on his gloves. He put on his mask. I put on my mask and cut my hair. And after the haircut, again, yep. he wiped off. Got to Paid him. I mean, and then cleaned after I left. So if you can do it that way, there is a safe way to to, mm -hmm. to get business done. I mean, they are doing, I think, only appointments only. It is appointment only. It was only me in there. I mean, they have apps now where you can just set your appointment. They confirm it with you. Yep. Do you, do you uh, use the cut? Huh? Is yeah. that the one I you don't use? know what they use. Uh, they use some I think I use in the cut or some yeah, shit the like cut. that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you you go to um I go to Frosty Easy Clippers yeah. and, and shout out to Easy Clippers shout too out I Frosty. like them too that's my guy bro yeah, Frosty's uh, dope Frosty's fucking hilarious <laughs> I've known Collier a very long time he actually learned from Ed 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 trained uh Collier Collier is the owner of Easy Clippers so shout out to those guys and and they're working very hard and and trying to get things done safely support your local businesses yes yeah, support your local biz businesses I I truly believe in that. I wish I could let my hair grow out like Jeremy. I'm mad right now. I was mad I had to cut my hair. I am not cutting my hair until October. You got Dog, a TWA so going bad. on. You know that? Dude, your hair's going to be like high school again. I'm going to look like Sawyer from you, Lost. You know, what a, you know what a TWA is? <laughs> you know what a TWA is? What? A teeny weeny afro. Yeah. That's what you got going. It's getting there, bro. I'm telling you. I put, I, a, I put a pound of product in this today. Keep it straight. <laughs> I was too on my head. Dude. My shit. My shit was a big a damn oof. shame Jeremy can't wear hats. No. I don't wear hats either. I can't. I, but I, my, like, dude, he, I he, he wear actually hats. can't no, wear a hat. Dude. I just look weird in a hat. I got a Velcro hat that my son wears, dude. And occasionally, if I got to go to the store or something, I don't want to fucking put all that shit in my hair. I'll throw that hat on. Bro, it's like this. That, that thing's like this. <laughs> like, there's like this much Velcro exposed. <laughs> it's bad. My head's huge. So. I also... um. Want to give a shout out? There's a, a dude that grew up in my neighborhood. He goes by the name of uh, J Money Grams. I want to give you a shout out. Um, just yesterday, he posted something about my block, and I'm very sensitive when it comes to my block. I, I love the block that I grew up on. Uh, we went through a lot. We didn't grow up rich. And he wrote, "If you weren't around in the '90s and the early 2000s on the block, you can't really relate to us." Our breed is different, Empire Boulevard. Then I got another friend that took a, a picture a few weeks ago, and he's going to give me a, a a nicer quality than what I did because I went to fucking Walgreens. <laughs> That's the most Edgar thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> but this is my block. This is Empire. And it's going to go up on that wall. It's a super dope photo. I love the photo. Shout out to Jose Munoz. You did a fucking hell of a job. And we grew up and we had the bare minimums. We didn't have a real park. Just have him email me the um I will. the JPEG. Yeah. And, so uh, have him email me the high res JPEG yeah. and I'll, I'll I'll order the print. Okay. Um we grew up on a block where we didn't have a playground. We made up a playground. So we played stick ball and we made our yeah. own fucking base in the concrete. We 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 created our own hiding uh, hiding go see uh, hiding under you know next to bushes and and climbing on the one only fucking tree that we had on the block. Now it's full of trees. I mean they've gentrified the place. It really looks good. Um, I mean we made up our own games and we figured it out. We we had a little spot when we were teenagers that I named the office, and that's where that was the meetup. That's where everybody post up and. Fuck! You know, we'll smoke some weed and shit. What'd you, you do? All right. I just missed another fucking raffle on the Travis Scott. Well, that's your problem. In the <laughs> middle of my fucking story. Are you Bro, kidding I, me? Missed a, I missed a. 
I didn't get a notification. And uh, no, it wasn't on sneakers. That's why. Oh. You know, we smoked some weed and shit. We had some stairs where we go pee, and in the hot summer, <laughs> the hot summer, you go down the stairs. The first one that pisses, we New York stinks, son. Mm-hmm. It will wake up the piss. I don't know if y'all remember that, but shout out to everybody from Empire, man. I love you guys, and I'm glad that you all succeed. And I see you guys, and uh, I got a lot of love for you guys. We had a really good time on that block. Word. All right. Well, I'm not doing songs this week. Want to just get the fuck out? Oh, of here. I got one. Come on now. Yeah, I got one. Too. Come Fine, on now. We'll do one. Come on now. You don't have to do one though. Let's I'll go. Do, I'll do one. Let's go with KRS One. Sound of the Police. I'm going old school. J Money Grams is creating music too. You can find them on all streaming platforms right now. A classic. Classic, dude. Who wants to go next? Go ahead. Classic. Who are you going with? I've been really... I've been trying to like lay out like like ones where it's like, oh shit, where did he find that type of shit? Or like, you know, not the norms, mm-hmm. you know. I felt like I was sticking in like norms for a while. And my bag is like hardly of anything I ever play, like on stream or what I make. Or like right. my bag is completely different on what I appreciate and what I listen to. So that being said, this song is called I Hate Giving You Everything. And it's the acoustic version. It's by a woman named Arlissa. Fucking incredible. That yeah, that was great. Yeah, <clears throat> for sure. She's incredible. Oh yeah, wow. <laughs> I'm gonna go. How much a dollar cost by Kendrick Lamar? Ooh. Okay, that's a nice one. You don't know that song, Edgar? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a great track. Yeah, that was good. That's Kendrick right there. <clears throat> Empathy. All right, I think that's is that gonna wrap it up for us. It's gonna wrap it up. Break. We'll be in better moods next week. Breaking. Just don't fuck shit up. So, just one more thing, and then we are gonna get out of here. We're not going on about this this week. The former Minneapolis police officer seen in a video with his knee on George Floyd's neck had 18 prior complaints filed against him with the Minneapolis Police Department's internal affairs, according to the police department. Have a nice fucking week.